Good afternoon, Mr. Kylie here with Martial Arts America and Senior Bar. This is going to be your Krav Maga workout today. Uh, the date is April 6th. It is a Monday. Let's have a little bit of fun today. We're going to start off warming up our hips and shoulders and have a really fun little circuit we're going to run through. It's five different exercises. We're going to do back to back to back to back to back. We're going to do that six times. All right, our goal is to get set of time today. Our goal is a number. We're going to work somewhere between six to ten reps. Six being the low range, high, ten being the high range. And the goal is to make sure that, that you know, if we can get to that ninth or tenth rep, then you know, it's a little bit of a struggle to get there. So make sure your technique stays strong. It's okay to have to have a, like a cheat rep towards that last rep. But if all of them are, then we need to work our, our technique or our weight a little bit. All right, so again, we're gonna start by warming up real fast. We're gonna chop down to a knee. And the reason you need to band today is all you'll need. And then push that hip forward. And you're gonna go onto your hamstring stretch by sinking away. switch, push it forward, work your front and back real fast, and sink away, Good. sit all the way down, one thing we've been doing with all the students, or you guys are students too, so we're doing with you as well, um, the challenge for the next month is stretching every single day and see what we can get out of it, okay, especially being adults, having more birthdays than an average student. Um, it's important to stay consistent, have some sort of schedule when it comes to our stretches, okay? Whether it's mobility work or, or flexibility work, both are very ever important, okay? Both the legs out, very best you can. Biggest thing is to make sure your focus right now is your posture. So if you're working your full split stretch and your full split is here, that's fine as long as it's not here. Okay? Even if you have to put your back on something just to make sure your body isn't rounded, whether your back's against the wall or something else, just to provide some sort of support or you have a towel wrapped around something so you can then pull yourself forward. Your main focus right now is your body keeping its posture to the front. So it's here, so it's not here. If your body's sinking backwards, you're taking all the stretch off of the inside of your thighs, which we have to work on opening up right now. And so you're taking your leg out as wide as you can get them, your body's up and you're trying to roll your body forward. So I'm trying to take and squish my body over just like that, lean over to your right side. Over to your left side. And make sure every time you lean into a stretch, you want to breathe out and expel your breath. And you hold your breath, and that, that kind of freezes your core muscles and it stops you from being able to really lean into your stretch. So as you get into your stretch, you want to take a deep breath in. If I'm leaning over this way, I take a deep breath in. And then as I lean, think of it like deflating a balloon. Good, I take a deep breath in. And then I reach forward as I breathe out. Pull your legs in. Oh. Okay, so first thing we're going to work on, uh, we're going to just kind of stay down in this position here. Uh, again, we're going to warm up our shoulders and our hips. You're going to do 10 shoulder rotations okay, using your band, or if you'd like to use a stick, if that's just more comfortable, you can also do that. But again, from a band, it's just here. You want to make sure it stays taut when you're up tall on your feet or on your knees, and you go over and then back and making sure that you're not getting this motion here. So we're just gonna do 10 together as a quick little warm up, and then we're gonna circuit into, I'll show you the next exercise, which is gonna warm up the outer part of your hip, your adductor, your abductor. Over and over, and we're going to 10. Okay, now from there, this we're gonna, it's, the setup's kind of goofy, but it feels awesome when you do it right. Okay, so what we're gonna do, you hold them in one hand or two hands, you just wanna have it, you're gonna lay over onto your side, go ahead and you want your knee, you want it on your foot like that, so you want both feet in it, just like that, and it's here. You have your knee bent, you're gonna take this, the top leg, and you're gonna straighten it out. Good, and from here, you're gonna keep, again, keep this leg pushing down to the ground. And you're just gonna lift this one up and back down, good? Try and go to 10. Oh. Yeah. And then you'll switch sides just by switching hands. Good. Pulling it over. Put that knee in nice and tight. Good. And straight. Good. And 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Strong speed. And then we're going to do shoulder rotations one more time. And then our hip raises one more time. Just again, to kind of loosen everything up. It's a nice little mobility work in the beginning. Arm straight. Six. Make sure it goes all the way around. Seven. Tempo is the key. Eight. Nine. Ten. Very good. And then kind of lay to your side. Put them both in one hand. Motion, but I definitely feel it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are successfully warmed up, so we're going to move on to our workout and a quick drink of water. Keep your band with you. All right, so exercises today. Gonna be, you're going to start with what's called an iron cross. Okay, an iron cross could be a rubber cross because it's a rubber. So it's going to be a lateral raise, and then you're going to pull it to the front and then lower it down. And that's one, two. So it's both a front raise and a lateral raise, keeping tension through the transition. So again, it's find the middle, one, two, and the like, shoulder level is as high as you want. That's the first exercise, all the way to 10. Okay, each circuit counts as one. And then you're gonna do banded lunges. You can also just do regular step back lunges if you would like, okay? So it's either step back, one, two, and you can alternate this way to 10 if you would like to. If you wanna use the band to apply a little bit extra resistance, you'll do one leg at a time. And what you'll do is you'll set up, like still in your stance like this, but both are on here, you're gonna go here. Good, so you pull them up into the outside of your shoulders. Again, I only have one, whatever leg is in it, that one stays firm on the ground. This, my other free leg, just steps back 10 times. One, two. And on the second set, you would then just do the other leg. Okay, next set, and on the glasses on, I'm sorry. Push-ups, okay, banded push-ups or just regular push-ups. If you're doing banded push-ups, okay, then what you'll do is you'll take it, start on your chest, come around, Good. Here, here, Good. and then you'll do your push-up. There it goes. Just like this. Good. Again, we're going for 10 is the number, or just regular push-ups. I'm perfectly fine with that as well. Good, and then from there, you're gonna wall sit for 30 seconds. You find your average wall. Wall sit for 30 seconds. Good. From there, you have tricep spreads. We've done these before. That's when you come in, one, two, all the way to 10, finding the proper resistance, and then just drop down and plank for 30 seconds. Okay, so we're doing all that six times. Ready? Okay, we're going for numbers. So we're gonna start with your iron cross, you're just gonna stay with me the best you can. All right, so start with your band. Iron cross locked and loaded. Here we go, now turn it back now. Three, two, one, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pretty good. Okay, next one to your step back lunges. Ready? And go. One, two, three. Stay steady. Four. Drive that knee over the toes. Six. Seven. Oh. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Push ups are next. One. Two. 
two, go for 10, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, invisible chair, slash wall set for 30 seconds. Go. Do we want to get water right now? So far away though. 10 seconds. And good, tricep spreads, here we go. As you find the amount of our resistance, you're still getting good technique, elbows up tall. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank for thirty seconds. Ready? And go. After this, we're taking twenty seconds off, then we're jumping right back into the second set. Ten seconds. Time, good. Take 20 seconds to breathe. We'll start back with our iron crosses. As we start to fatigue, if you need to iron cross with one arm at a time, that's also acceptable, no problems. <clears throat> or one-handed tricep at a time, or not banded lunges or not banded push-ups. Job is to make sure that as your tempo kind of slows down, your technique stays strong. All right, ready? Set number two. Iron cross and all good in ten. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Opposite leg lunge. Unless you didn't do a bandage, keep alternating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push ups. chair. This is set number two, guys. We're already a third of the way done after this. It's going fast, isn't it? Breathe. Halfway there. Almost. Time. Tricep spreads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank. Go. Keep the core tight. Halfway there. Almost. Come on, guys. Time. Awesome. Okay, now we're on that third set, the one that's gonna get a halfway point. 
Okay, so we're working through. I want to see your iron crosses first. You have about 10 more seconds to breathe, and we're going to go for it. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, very good. And next we do is lunges, back to your original leg. Step back into them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Excellent job, push up time. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wall set, thirty seconds. Three, two, one, go. I have to de sweat this part of the wall, we're done. Use this time to breathe. Go to your happy place. And tricep pull parts. Pause for a second on the outside. Three, four, five, six. Fast out, slow in. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank, and then we're officially halfway done. Proud of you. Go. Ten seconds. Time. All right, doing great. Get some water real fast. Twenty seconds. Come right back. six iron crosses on deck here we go make sure as you start to fatigue you're mainly trying to work your shoulders okay so specifically your medial and front your anti side delt and the front delt the anterior and medial head either way just make sure as you do this when your body starts to get tired it's going to try to recruit and use other muscles so when you notice things like your shoulders starting to hunch up good that means your body's getting tired when you start to do this you should just be here. So I'm not raising up my shoulders because that's how you end up straining a muscle in your neck and then a muscle in your upper back. And so just again, make sure as you start to feel other things happen, slow the movement down and try to either do less of a movement. You can also, with bands, we talked about before, you can make them lighter, good, by simply using just use one arm at a time and come over more. Give yourself more slack here so the band itself isn't quite as heavy as tight. Okay? So again, that's what you can work on as your body starts to fatigue. When you notice things like that happening and other kind of indifferences, try to find the, the adjustment there, right? Step four of 10. Well, that was me also giving you a little bit longer of a break, so you're welcome. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, split lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've never been so excited to do an invisible wall set. This one, it's almost like the break time. seconds. Time. Good. Triceps. Whoop, whoop. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Now for planks. Go. Fifteen seconds left. Five seconds. Time. We are two thirds of the way done, squad. We just got two sets to go. <sighs> Breathe. 15 more seconds. We'll start with our iron lunges. By iron lunges, I mean iron cross, and then our lunges. We're not combining those, don't worry. <laughs> Seven seconds. All right, here we go. Iron cross. And go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Split lunges. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push ups. Fifteen seconds in. And up. Right side split. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank for thirty.
almost there. Time. And then last set's coming up. And also gotta stay tuned right if you finish that last set. I know a lot of you guys saw that the MAA water bottle challenge kind of going around. People kicking water bottles out of the air or out of people's hands. Um, I'm gonna show you a sneaky cool way to do that. Cause like seeing that wheel kick, I'm talking to you. <laughs> seeing that wheel kick, um, what we're gonna show is a spinning hook kick. It looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. And a lot of times there's a few very succinct errors that we can be making um, that'll stop us from getting that move that we wanna get. And so I'll just show you a couple easy, clean ways to work your spinning hook kick or your spinning wheel kick. And I, I don't wanna hear the, why oh, have I never learned that? Good, that's why you're here. This is you haven't learned it. So I'm gonna teach it to you. Um, if you can do a side kick, you can do a spinning hook kick. Promise you, okay? You can do a traditional side kick. Good, which in crawl, if you guys learned that, you're really good at it. You can do a spinning hook kick. Okay, there's no difference between this and that. It looks a lot more complicated, but it's not, and I'll break that down for you right after this last set. Let's go ahead and get to work. Ready? Iron cross, here we go. <clears throat> and three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and then now we're going on to the lunges. Last one. Oh, yes. And go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push ups, last set. Thank goodness. Here we go. Final ten. Final ten. Here we go. Invisible chair. 30 seconds, keep rolling. Go. You know, sorry we're in a headband in this class. I'm starting to sweat too much. How much you guys? I'm sure you are though, because you work hard. Bicep pull parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Final flank. I strategically put this over there. And let's go. Seven seconds. Time. Good. Excellent job. Proud of you guys. Get some water if you need to. If you want to breathe, I'm going to run real, get some, run real fast and get some objects to kind of show you this kick real fast if you want to see it. If not, you can call it a day if you'd like to see. So it's, I'm going to see a lot of you guys pop these videos out. That would be super cool. Okay, so. Let's say you're kicking a water bottle, in this case, a cone, same difference, okay? So you probably, I see a lot of you guys try to do the spinning wheel kick. Your spinning wheel and your spinning hook are different, but also very similar, okay? So what a lot of you guys have been trying is your wheel kick, which is this one here, okay? And the, the struggle with the wheel kick is it's a lot of rotation and coordination. And the most common things that I see students doing correctly, <clears throat> is that they try to, they over rotate their body first of all. Okay, think of like any other side kick. Real fast, let's just rewind a little bit and put your favorite side in the front and show me a side kick. So if you put here, if your right leg's in the front, you do a side kick and of course your knee comes up 
and then it goes straight out, right? Okay, your body rotates this way. You're showing the, the target almost like you're kicking behind yourself to coordinate your body. So my shoulder's coming this way. So if my kick's going here, my shoulder is pointing to the inside of my body here. I'm not going here. Why not? Because it makes your body fade and fall backwards, right? If I open up my shoulders as I do a side kick, it's gonna naturally push you onto your heel and knock you backwards. So that's kind of, that's error number one. Okay, the other thing is if they don't pivot their foot. And so if I'm here, this foot stays lateral like this, I'll show you from the side. If my foot stays pointing at you, when I kick this way, good, what happens if I try to add, if I go to extend my foot and lean, is I lean back onto the edge of the blade of my foot and I fall over. It's like I'm on a tightrope. So if I'm here, I roll over that way. So how do I counteract that? I pivot my foot. So you just turn it to give yourself some bend and some leeway and some grip. Right, so those are the two main cues for your spinning or any kind of side kicking maneuver. Okay, you pivot your foot, and you make sure your body doesn't over rotate. So what I notice for a lot of those that are kind of doing the challenge is they go to spin and they're doing a wheel kick and their body's making both of those mistakes just because they're spinning too hard. They're here and they're going, pay close attention to this foot. Okay. They're going here, so my foot, it should go big. It should point its heel where it's going, but we're trying so fast to get around so fast that we're going here. And then you'll see the foot kind of point up and you'll see kind of crescent over like this and you'll see the shoulder rotate too far. And so they'll be here and they'll spin halfway. And that's as far as they need to go. But a lot of us, all of us in such a hurry to get back around to the target, we just keep pulling our body and our shoulder goes too far and our foot goes too far. And we miss the target because we fall down or fall away. Okay, so instead of doing that wheel, we're gonna do what's called a spinning hook. Okay, for us right now, take the favorite leg you're gonna kick with, put it in the front, Okay, for right now, for most of you guys, it's going to be your right leg, and that's fine. And just do a side kick. Just a side kick. Okay? Now, once you've finished out putting out that side kick, instead of pulling it back, instead of going out and then pulling it back, push it out and then bend your knee. Like a backwards round kick. One, two. Okay, right? Up. Round kick. Now, so if I put that in reverse and I side kick out, boom, and for extra distance and for extra reach, just point your toes like a round kick. Good. So it's like I'm pushing and I'm smacking back. So it's like just like a round kick, but now it's in reverse. I go out, and then I pull the toes, and I smack back. That's a hook kick, okay? It's more of a sparring variation of a hook kick. Now to add a spin and a wheel, to add that, that illusion of rotation, good. All you do is from here, and again, all you do is you pivot your foot, and you lean, and you need to be leaning onto this kicking leg. Okay, and from here, I pull with my arms, but not super far, and I just pull my leg up like a side kick, and pull it back. So it's pivot this first, pivot, shoulders turn. That's as much as my foot's gonna pivot. It's not gonna pivot anymore. It's gonna stay here. My shoulder also stays where it is. My leg comes up, I bend my knee like a side kick, and then pull my foot back. So you do it fast, it's pivot, smack. Okay? Focus on let me show you from the side. It's very, very important to lean away. If I lean towards it, if I'm so focused on getting my head around and pushing and leaning to it, then you fall. Okay, the other mistake I see a lot of is people will start chambering their leg without seeing where they're going. And so I'll see a lot of this, especially on the wheel kick. So my leg, well, I'll do so much. Watch where my foot is when my eyes finally get back to you. I hit the target before I even saw it. That's not gonna work. You've got to see it first. So it's important. The first thing you have to do is pivot and see it, then bring it around. Or in this case, that spinning hook kick, which I promise is a lot easier in your wheel kick because you're bending your knee now. So it's, okay. And again, from there, now we're in the target. When you're going to do the bottle kick challenge, hit a stationary target first, and then find getting used to, the first thing you're trying to do is spin and find it. Spin and find it. And then spin, find, and reach it. I broke it. <laughs> and then you just work on timing that with the throw part. So spin, find it, spin, find it, and then spin, just put your foot out and go for it. What you can also do, stand stationary, hit it. Good. Now I know if that if I can hit it from here, then if I switch my feet, I do the same thing. That's kind of that's the sneaky, sneaky way I'll wrap that up with how to find it is if I can stand in a certain spot. And from there, if my front foot can find it, so from right, right where I am, 
If my front foot can hit it, okay, then if I take that same exact position and I switch my feet, good. If my back leg can also find it from the same exact spot. Okay, so that's how you sneakily like line up and aim it. So instead of just trying to hope for the best and hit it and everything being random, you get you do it from stationary first with your front leg, so you, so you don't have to worry about finding it in your vision. You just see it and you find it. And then when you're ready, keep it stationary, spin it, find it. And then from there, you have either yourself or somebody throw it up and you toss. And as you toss, you spin, see it, and then find it. Okay, it still may take a couple tries, but those are by far the best ways to kind of work it and kind of get yourself back to that technique you're wanting. So try to maybe work away from that wheel kick because there's a lot of variables that go into it and it's a lot more stressful and a lot more swinging it as hard and fast as you can. Instead, I promise, these look the exact same, right? Wheel, spinning hook, same exact kick. Spinning hook just has a lot more control and a lot more ability to focus on where you're going with it, all right? Try that, see if it works, film it, throw it on. Hashtag is MAA Water Bottle Challenge. I'd love to see those videos just kind of flood in and watch you guys super awesome kicks, all right? Thank you for today. Thank you for working out with me. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I'll have a fun, new, fresh workout for you guys Wednesday. Um, if you want to keep working your flexibility and stuff and working your, your lower body and your core and your, your distance, we do sparring workouts and drills every Tuesday and Thursday around this time. So you're more than welcome to jump in and do that classes as well. It's more for like the black belt training and the point sparrers, but for me, it's for every student. I have Henry Lunchy does it with us. He needs a little dragon that's not yet in black belt training, but I know he's there every time and he's working hard. And so like, you don't have to be a black belt trainer or a black belt to do that class. It's just, a, it's a drills and conditioning class for anybody that would like an extra workout on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But I thought it might be when Mr. Hamill's crop classes. So I want you to get that in too. So just, just get a lot of work in guys. <laughs> and get out. Good, get some water. You are dismissed.